Hey what's up this is Santosh Shetty here from Learn Create Grow podcast. There are a lot of people out there who often wonder how do uh, people who are building their business on the internet like uh, online entrepreneurs and YouTubers, podcasters how they get topics for uh, their business. If you have tried creating video any time or if you have tried creating podcast any time you will know that finding a relevant content for your niche or your business can create a burnout. It can tire you and uh, sometimes even demotivate you when you feel uh, blank in your head when you are when you don't have a clue of what to talk about. You can avoid all those complications if you know what your content is going to be. So here are the five tools that I personally use to find topics the uncomplicated way. Here is a tool that I often use it's called uh, Quora. So in this place this is a great uh, social media platform where you will find a lot of people asking questions. So depending on what business you are into or what is your, what is what category your uh, business is into just uh, type in that keyword in Quora and uh, you will notice or you will find a lot of questions uh, related to that topic so make a list of all these questions in maybe an excel or a word document and there you will have a lot of content that you can create for your youtube and even for your podcast and trust me you'll be amazed with the number of questions you're going to get around your niche i'm pretty sure whatever niche you're into you will get a lot of uh, questions here which people are asking and you will be able to create great uh, content around these question tool number 2 would be google keyword tool this requires a little bit of skill and also uh, understanding how to use excel will help you a lot once you're in google keyword planner all you have to do is type in the keyword and uh, google is going to tell you the search volu- volume for that particular keyword and it's also going to give you uh, related questions and related search terms and datas like this So it is always good uh, that you have a uh, excel skill as well not like advanced excel skill even basic skill is fine just to download uh, all these keywords into a csv or uh, excel format and then you know um, arrange it in excel this can give you a lot of topics to talk about like hundreds and hundreds of them depending on what your business is and google's uh, keyword planner is free you don't have to pay anything so you can just uh, look for the google keyword planner in google sign in and start looking for keywords around your business tool number 3 another cool tool that i came across was uh, answer the public now this is also great if you go to answerthepublic.com uh, you will find a search bar over there and just uh, Uh, put in your topic over there you will get data on what are the questions people are asking around that keyword you can download this data again put it into excel arrange it and uh, i'm pretty sure you'll be able to find a lot of topics to talk about in your business niche searching for topics in answer the public or searching for questions in answer the public is uh, for free but there are limitations after a certain uh, a limit then you will be asked to upgrade to pro okay so try it out and if you like it then upgrade to pro another great tool that i uh, usually use to get topics is called keywordtool.io that is the website go to this website and in this website you will be able to check search volume for whatever keyword that you're looking for you know the search vo- it will look for keywords in google youtube bing amazon ebay Uh, apple store uh, play store instagram twitter pinterest so depending on where you are planning to post your topic let's say you are trying to post a topic in um, uh, youtube then you can look for keywords in youtube in this particular tool and uh, if you are somebody who is selling uh, products in amazon and uh, you want to understand what are the keywords people are uh typing in their phone or in their system then you can look for keywords in amazon it's a great tool and uh it's free you can use it but again it has certain limitations after a while uh, you may if you if you want to do more with the keyword io tool then uh, there is keyword tool pro as well you can upgrade to pro and you can use it this is great it just the free version itself will give you a lot of data and it can give you uh a lot of topics that you can uh, talk about all these four tools are great i have used it in the past and uh, it's free to use uh, till 
a certain limit and after that you have to purchase a subscription google keyword planner is for free and the fifth tool i'm going to talk about it's called vidiq this is a youtube tool you can say but i have been using it for podcast as well now vidiq what it does is it looks for keywords uh, in youtube and uh, it gives you a proper analysis on uh, what is the search volume uh, the keyword has and what is the kind of ranking that keyword has how many people are asking questions around those keywords and it also gives you daily ideas for topics you know you don't have to break your head on what uh, you need to talk about or wh- what is the po- uh, video you need to create it gives you some ideas every single day and you can have a look at it and see if it fits your business and you can create um, uh, great uh, topics around those ideas it also gives you great competitor analysis just to keep an eye on what your competitors are doing and what are the topics they are talking about it also helps you understand trending keywords and it also helps you in uh, seo in youtube so if you are a youtuber or a podcaster then i highly recommend that you sign up to vidiq vidiq has a free version so you can sign up to vidiq uh, for free and even use vidiq for free so if you are somebody who's new into youtube or into podcasting then i suggest you start for free try this out look at the different features that it has and understand the value it brings in for your business and after that you can uh, think of upgrading to their uh, other uh, subscription plans like pro boost and max so try it out here is the link it's workwithsan.com forward slash vid iq that is w o r k w i t h s a n dot com v for victory i d for delta i q for queen all right you will also find the links in the description so these are the five tools that gives you topics for podcast and for creating youtube videos So here are some tips and things to remember when you are uh, creating topics for your content. One, always plan in advance. What I mean by this is don't do this every single day, do it once every 10 days. That's what I do. So once every 10 days, shortlist 10 topics at a time for video and maybe 10 topics for podcast or you can use the same topics and uh, mix and match for both video and podcast. So once that is done, 10 days of yours is sorted. and when you're creating videos for any of these topics in the beginning you might take maybe about 2 to 3 hours and after a while you it is going to be a less than an hour depending on the length of your video once that happens what you can do is you can plan in advance you can create your videos maybe you you may have to uh, talk about 10 topics so you would need 10 videos take about 3 days to uh, create those 10 videos and each video can be like 10 to 15 minutes long and you have 10 videos for 10 days and schedule all these videos so you're working hard for the first 3 days and the rest 7 days you can just focus on marketing and other activities in your business so repeat this every 10 days same with podcasting as well initially you might take maybe 30 to 30 minutes to an hour for podcasting but after a while once you get good at it you will not take more than 20 minutes to 30 minutes trust me depending on how long your podcast is my podcast is usually between 10 to 15 minutes just like my videos so i usually take about 30 minutes to uh, finish my podcast and even edit it editing is very very easy and the most important thing is stick to your business niche stick to where your knowledge is talk about what you know It's always good to do that because uh, once you have shortlisted the content creating content for those topics uh, will be easier. If you already have a fair knowledge of uh, what the topic is all, all about then uh, you will be able to create content quickly as well. If you do not know what the topic is maybe uh, you will take a little more time because you will have to do a lot of research you will have to check some videos you will have to check some podcast and then create content. That's a uh that is going to take a little bit longer but if you already are aware already knowledgeable then even if you do not know certain things about your own topics when you check some uh, videos and uh, listen to some podcast you will get ideas and uh, you will be able to understand it better because you already know certain things about that uh topic right and you'll be able to create content better as well don't get into topics which you are completely unaware about like for example if you are somebody who is into health niche and talks about health health fitness and nutrition 
don't get into something like uh, finance because they are totally there are two different things one talks about health other talks about finance so you may not have the knowledge about finance or have the passion or interest about finance so don't just talk about random topics talk about topics that you are comfortable with and passionate about i hope this helps and i hope you start using these five tools to uh, create your own list of topics for your business and all the links is in the description so you can go ahead check the description copy it paste it in the browser and you'll be able to access each of these tools that's about it for today if you like this podcast and if you thought you found value in this podcast please give me a five star review and uh, like and share this podcast with somebody you think uh, will find this useful as well and if you have not already done it please follow my podcast in your favorite podcast platform i am available in apple spotify audible amazon music and uh, maybe another five to six platforms and if you would like to join my private group for entrepreneurs then uh, just go to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash design clans and send an invite request i'll invite you there i keep updating my uh, private group with the videos and podcast around uh, around topics on um, internet marketing entrepreneurship and designing and if you would like to follow me or add me as a friend in any of the social media channels just look for the username design clans and if you want to request for a content there is a link in the description you can copy and paste the link in the browser and request for a content as well That's it for today. Thank you so much for listening to Learn Create Grow podcast. I really really appreciate your time and uh, I hope you got a lot of value out of this podcast. Okay? So stay connected and thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful day. This is Santosh here.